there have been two games that have absolutely stood out. There was Japan's amazing win against South Africa, and then there was Saturday's big match at Twickenham between England and Wales. The bottom line is that England should have won it. They blew it. They were well ahead in the scoreboard, and somehow they let Wales back into it. Let's give credit to Wales, because although they've had injury problems, firstly, before the tournament and during the tournament, they have not stood down, and they have come back with a fight at Twickenham and deserved their victory. Credit must go to Dan Bigger, who was outstanding on the night. But England, come on, what were you thinking about whenever you decided to go for the try in the last few minutes instead of kicking for goal to level the game? It showed one thing, England aren't Japan. And unless England get their act together very, very quickly indeed, they are going out of this tournament because defeat against Australia will mean they are gone and everyone will then be discussing Stuart Lancaster's future. If England lose against Australia, the pressure is going to be immense on Lancaster and his players. It's about time they started delivering and they have to do it against the Aussies. That is going to be very, very tough because Australia would love nothing better than to knock England out of their own World Cup in their own backyard. That is going to be one heck of a contest.